from here, we'll work on the dorsiflexion of the feet, sitting up tall, letting the inner thighs pull back towards the wall behind us with dorsiflexed feet. We'll hold the dorsiflexion for 20 seconds, softening the sternum and the breastbone and the front ribs in towards the back body, imprinting those back ribs into the wall, widening the collarbone, lifting your chin, relaxing the facial muscles, breathing all the while. Relax those feet for five, four, three, two, one. Again, dorsiflex those feet and hold. As you're holding this, notice if you're gripping anywhere that's unnecessary. Is the jaw, can you soften that more? Facial muscles, the shoulders, the chest, even the eyes and the sockets. Try to relax all of those areas and release the dorsiflexion of the feet, relaxing the feet for five, four, three, two, one final set here, 20 seconds, dorsiflex those feet, hold it. As you're working, pull the low abs in towards the spine. Lift in and up on those muscles internally that stop your stream of pee. Inhale, think about someone you're grateful for, and exhale, think or say their name. Again, inhale, think about someone you're grateful for, exhale, think or say their name. From here, we'll come onto our knees on the mat, tucking the toes under, sitting up tall, stretching our arms out in front of us like Frankenstein and flipping the palms to face up towards the ceiling. Bend the elbows softly with the toes tucked under. Sit your pelvis back on your heels, working again on that dorsiflexion, holding for 20 seconds here with the abs pulled in. Now, if you happen to have bunions or any issues like that, feel free to come out of this. And you can just focus on some cat and cows, gentle articulation of the spine, instead of doing this slightly more aggressive footwork. It increases range of motion and does help with a lot of injury prevention. It helps with injury prevention in general when you're moving through planes of motion. Keep breathing here. Good. Sitting up out of that. Resting those feet for five. Four, three, two, one. Final sit back. Sit back on it. 20 second hold. If it becomes too much, you can always come in and out of it. Those arms are extended out. Imagine hands on your shoulder blades. Puff your shoulder blades back into those hands. Widen the collarbone. Lift your chin. Inhale. And coming back up, untucking those toes. Bringing your hands right under your shoulders, knees under hips. Walk the hands four to foot, tuck the toes under, bend the knees, brace the abs. And from here, we're gonna step back into a plank. From your plank position, slowly lower yourself down onto your chest. Inhale, exhale, pressing to an upward facing dog, holding it here, inhale. Exhale, turn the head right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. Inhale, pushing back onto the knees, stepping your right leg forward, straightening your back leg, bracing your abs, arms come up to shoulder flexion, high lunge, and we're going to step our front leg. We're going to push off of it to stand in the center of our mat. Turn and face me, feet hip distance apart, lateral flexion, side bending with the left arm lifted to the right, adding the right arm, holding for 20 seconds, 20 seconds on the clock, chin lifted, chin can go down on the diagonal, up on the diagonal, or stay centered. Watch out for the spraying ribs, soften the sternum inward, plug the shoulders down the back, widen that collarbone. Just another 10 seconds here to work on those external obliques and opening up the side body, the lats, where they attach under the armpits. Bring yourself back through center, lower the arms down. Right arm comes up, inhale, side bending to the left, exhale. Add that left arm, hold it up, 20 seconds on the clock. Puff the shoulder blades back. Soften the sternum, the breastbone, and the front ribs towards the back ribs. Plug the shoulders down the back if you need to elevate them and then plug them, do so. Keep your chin lifted, gaze soft, Jaw relaxed. 
Beautiful. Inhale, bring it back up to center. And from here, we'll do one more on the first side. So side bending to the right, adding the right arm. 20 seconds on the clock. Use your breath here. It's very important you use your breath. As you're working, where are you holding that you can soften? Keep the belly in towards the spine. Lift up way below the belly button on those muscles that stop your stream of pee. Just another three, two, one. Inhale back up through center. Right arm comes up, side bending to the left. Add that left arm. Find freedom in the neck. 20 seconds on the clock. Everybody's breathing. Lifting up through your center, puffing the shoulder blades back, widening the collarbone, relaxing the facial muscles, the jaw, the eyes and the sockets. Keep that belly in. Counting you down three, two, one. Inhale back to center. From here, we'll be traveling side to side in the frontal plane for injury prevention, working on our forward knee flexion with leg extension. So we'll begin with our arms overhead, and then we'll bend the elbows and put the hands behind the head. Lean the head back into the hammock of the hands. Stepping onto our right leg perfectly parallel, bringing our left leg up to knee flexion. Join me. Extend that shin out with dorsiflex toes three times. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. One more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Traveling to the left, repeating. Once you find knee flexion, soften that supporting knee, tip your pelvis back, pull the belly in, puff the shoulder blades back. After you've done those three extensions, travel with me back to the right, finding the balance first, focusing on the supporting knee being soft, no forward lean. There should be a lift through your core and your shoulder blades should be actively pulling together and, and pressing back a little bit so that you feel the upper back extensors, the center of the upper back, the rhomboids, the trapezius. Travel back, final time. Find the balance, three leg extensions. Breathe with me here. And once you complete those, we're gonna come over to the wall for some stretches. Let's begin with our dominant arm in a high V. And we'll step the inside leg back just a foot, feet are hip distance apart. Tuck the pelvis under like a scared puppy and push the hips forward while twisting from the rib cage away from the arm on the wall with a micro bend in the elbow of the arm on the wall. Breathe with me here. We're going to use a transcendental meditation mantra to clear our mind. So inhale, think the word so. Exhale, think the word hum. Inhale, think so. Exhale, think, hum. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Nice. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. One more breath here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Slowly turning. And let's switch the arm on the wall. Elbow soft, twisting away, stepping the inside foot back, bend the knees, tuck the pelvis, drive the hips forward. Try, even though you're twisting your torso away from the wall, to micro bend the elbow and to relax the front ribs back towards the back ribs and to puff the back ribs back as if imaginary hands were on the shoulder blades and you wanted to rest your shoulders in them. Plug the shoulders down the back. Make sure they're not elevated up by the ears. And let's come back to that breath. Thinking of somebody we're grateful for on our inhale and on our exhale, either in our mind or out loud saying their name. Inhale, I am grateful for. Exhale, say or think their name. Inhale, two three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Three more breaths here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Good. Inhale, two, three, 
four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Last breath here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Great work.